Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Lisa. We are here at the Fayette County Public Library today and you have joined me for the Crafty Corner. Today we are gonna make this really cute dinosaur. Pretty simple. You need two paper plates. You need a toilet tube roll, a wiggly eye, some scissors and some glue. Now you can color your paper plate with crayon like I did, or you can paint it, or you can use markers or colored pencils, however you want it. You could even buy colored paper plates and make it. That would be real simple. All right, so what we're going to do is after you have colored your dinosaur, and we are gonna be making an Ankylosaurus today. Okay, an Ankylosaurus is a dinosaur that has armor on the back. So we are going to put a bunch of ridges on the back of our dinosaur. So this is pretty simple. Um, the first thing that we need to do is just fold your paper plate in half once you've colored it. Okay, and you are going to want to use white glue, not the glue stick, because this is pretty heavy. You are going to want to glue it down. Now don't glue like the, the, the edge, because we're gonna to need to be able to slip in um, the armor for this dinosaur, plus his head and his tail. So if we can sort of just put a lot of glue here in the central part of the paper plate, and then you're gonna to have to press it down. Okay, and hold it for a little bit so that that part sticks really well. Okay, and you're gonna leave this part open so that we have places to put um, the armor and the head and the tail. Okay, so we're gonna press that down really well. And this is the body now of your dinosaur. Now this is going to be your feet. So we're going to just want to, after you've colored it, cut it in half. Now here's the tricky part, and look at that, that's not quite even, His, he's not gonna stand up straight. So I'm gonna have to cut just a little bit off of here. Let's see if we got it more even, that looks better. Now our paper plate needs to slide down into these two halves of the tube. So we need to cut little slits, like directly across from each other. So I'm gonna cut that there, cut this there, and cut here and cut here. All right, <clears throat> then we're gonna take our bottom edge, we're gonna slide it into the holes, into those little slits we made, and these will become what I, these will become its feet. I don't see the little hole. All right, time for the glasses. Let's see here. Where did I make those slits? They disappeared on me. All right, <laughs> here we go. Okay, so we've got our two feet. Now we have to decorate this dinosaur. So we have our other paper plate that you've colored the same color or different. We don't know what dinosaurs look like. So you can color them any color you want. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just sort of cut it in half. Okay, and let's see. I'm going to make a head. Now if you look at these armored reptiles over here, they sort of have a pointed head. This one is sort of pointed. So let's see. If I sort of make a circle or like an oval and maybe make it come down a little bit, that doesn't look quite right. You can design it however you want. Okay, and then we're going to put the eye here and I'm gonna make his mouth come in here. Well, that sort of looks like a lizard. All right, so we're gonna glue the eye on. There we go. All right, now we gotta decide which part of this, where his head's gonna go. And remember, we didn't glue this totally together, so it should come apart for us a little bit. And we can stick his head in there. Probably need a little bit more glue on it so that we can then slide him in. There we go. All right, now he needs armor. So we're going to want to make some triangles. So I'm just going to cut out some triangles and it doesn't matter if they're big or small, whatever size, if they're wide or skinny, we're just gonna want some triangles. Now, if you notice, there's triangles here too. So look, I can just cut across the bottom and get some more triangles, pretty cool. All right, so this is probably enough triangles. You may want to color both sides of your triangle so the back side is, aren't white. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue up in here. 
That might make it a little simpler just to then lay the triangles in and it will stick because we have the glue in there. It is totally up to you as to how many of these triangles you want to put on your dinosaur. Okay. Oh, that one's sunk down in. All right, you can go all the way to the tail area, all the way down to the head. It's totally up to you. You can put polka dots on him, you could put stripes on him, whatever you want. Okay, and we'll pinch it together a little bit so the glue sticks. All right, what we're missing now is a tail. Now most of these armored ones had a big club for a tail. So let's see here, if I cut out sort of a rectangle and I put sort of a circle on the end here and then just make a re long rectangle with a little bit of a club on the end. See my lines don't quite match up. There we go. And we can glue this in here. Add a little bit of glue so that it will stick. We'll stick his tail in here. And so now he has a club tail. Now the only other thing that you might want to do is give him some toes. So if you want to use a Sharpie, you can just come down here and sort of make some little toes. And any other decorations you would want, okay? Stripes and polka dots or whatever. But here we have a little Ankylosaurus dinosaur. Now, boys and girls, you can come to the library and grab yourself a packet. Everything you need to make this little dinosaur is right in here. And we have lots of books too, lots of books on dinosaurs. All right, boys and girls, thanks for joining me. Today we have done this paper plate dinosaur. Come see me again next Wednesday for another craft. Bye, boys and girls.